Good morning, Van Van. G'day. Welcome <laughs> back to another episode. We're out in Midland in Perth. <laughs> and if you're from Perth, you probably know what we're talking about. This place has a really bad stigma, but what can we say? It's we been, loved it. It's yeah, been, been lovely. <laughs> We've had amazing neighbours. We've been leaving things unlocked, the canopy open, with, uh, the fridge exposed. Yeah. No beers have been stolen, nothing's been taken. This so place has been great, actually. Yeah, no complaints about Midland. And so it don't cheaper be cheaper there everywhere else in Perth, so we like that. <laughs> don't be afraid to stay out here in Midland. We actually stayed out here for a little bit over two weeks, which is pretty yeah. much as long as we've ever sat still since getting on the road and I'm itching to get back on the yes, road which is what too. we're doing today. We've also reunited with the kids. They've made it home safely from Thailand. Yes, they were exhausted for like a week. They slept in until like 12 o'clock every day. They were, they were donezo. We've basically just been having a bit of a holiday from our, our lives. <laughs> I'd like to say a holiday from our holidays. It was a holiday from our lives. We're, we're relaxed, we're refreshed, we're ready to get back on the road. And we're going somewhere very interesting today. We're not going to tell you where that is just yet. We'll show that to you when we get there. But it has a very interesting feature which we'd love to encourage. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we'll show you that when we get where we're going. Well guys, we've arrived in Cullen, a little town, and the reason we came here is for a very unique experience here. You want to tell them? <laughs> the thing that first piqued my interest was this place has five stars and a crap ton of ratings at five stars as well. So I was like, hang on, what's going on there? That, that <laughs> must be good. Uh, and basically what they offer here at the Cullen Caravan Park is the opportunity to pay what you think is fair. Which I think and is And pay really within amazing. your means. I'll take you over and I'll show you what it says on the sign. First couple of lines up the top there are kind of irrelevant, but here it says spend time in Cullen, enjoying the amazing sights, attractions, experiences, businesses on offer in our Shire and close by, then reflect on your stay and decide how much you contrib can contribute to this unique experience. So that's so exciting. I've never <laughs> seen this ever in, my tra in our travels. So we're going to go explore tomorrow and then we'll let you know what we decide to pay. <laughs> All right, good morning. We're off to do some of the things that we can do here around Cullen. We're going to go and do what's probably the number two um, <laughs> thing to do here in Cullen. It's something called the Tin Horse Highway. Love a good quirky art installation. Should be lots of fun. <laughs> also, as you can see, the kids are alive and well. Did you guys have a lot of fun in Thailand? Yeah, yeah. we had so much fun. fun. Are you happy to be home in a caravan again? Yeah, yeah still happy. Yeah. Oh, they, they know the right things to say, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, off we go. Let's go and check out the Tin Horse Highway. Cullen is a small town in the Wheat Belt region of southern Western Australia. I think those opening drone shots really show what the landscape looks like out here. The Tin Horse Highway was originally created as a marketing campaign by the Cullen locals to bring awareness to the annual Cullen Bush races, but it's now become a self-drive tourist attraction in its own right. The horses have been created from a variety of materials and each has its own unique theme. We couldn't resist stopping to grab a few photos at some of these quirky pieces of art. It's pun central, get it? Philly Pooses? <laughs> As in Mark Philippousis. <laughs> I love it. This one's pretty cool. Basically what I read is all these tin horses are created by the farmers. Like each individual farmer on this property has come out and put this display up. And they've done it to create awareness for the um, Cullen horse races that they have here once a year. In, once a year, yeah. In October, That's I think it is. Table. What do you guys think? You're enjoying yourelves? Yeah! I love it! It's yeah, so funny too. to look at all yeah. the horses. Tell me what. Is it getting warm enough to go swimming though? Yeah! Definitely! Yeah. The Tin Horse Highway was pretty cool, but it is now time for the main event. The kids have been sitting, looking longingly out their windows throughout yesterday and again today at the massive slide that they have here in Cullen. They've actually got what they're saying is regional Australia's longest slide at 182 metres. Pretty keen to get in there and have a go. Do you think you're going to be having a slide, my dear? Um, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> not looking forward to it. What about you kids? You excited to go slide? Oh, yeah, totally! 
Hey, good luck! <laughs> <laughs> you are one classy lady. <laughs> oh shit! All right, we're moving. <laughs> you whip me. You got the big glove. Is that fun? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It just keeps going. We're all finished up with the pool. I can't see anymore because my contacts fell out. So I have to put new ones in. I'll wear my glasses for the rest of the day. But I wanted to, as Christmas is done, I wanted to share with you a new snack we're going to have. Fairy bread hot cross buns. So basically I've heated Christmas up... Christmas is what, a week ago? <laughs> yeah, and we're already on Easter things. Yeah, I know. So I've heated up the hot cross I've heated up the barbecue and once they're nice and warm I'll put butter on them and put hundreds and thousands because it comes with a packet so that'll be very exciting. You guys want to taste your hundreds and thousands hot cross buns? Yeah! I know you do. Go on, get one in your mouth and tell me what it tastes like, Owen. Mm. Mm. What about, what do you think, Kaylee? Mm. So tasty. You're gonna have some now? Yep. You're gonna rate it? It's pretty damn good actually. Reminds me of fairy bread. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we have one last thing to do on our list here in Cullen. All of the reviews have got very high praise for the pub dinner. So we're gonna go for a little walk down to the pub. It's only, or oh, what would you say, two minutes? Two minutes down. 400, no, two minutes, like 400 minute, meters down the road, like super convenient. And I didn't bother putting contacts in. I've got my glasses on tonight, which is weird. <laughs> Go and see if uh, all the praise is right for this pub dinner. All right, so the pub is quite interesting. It's like an old house. <laughs> oh, look at here. We've just ordered it. The kids are here playing noughts and crosses. I was perusing the uh, book swap. As always. <laughs> this place and we have is, a table uh, in here. Really interesting. It's like a, it's like an old house. Like you can tell it's you know, an old you, house. You walk around on the floorboards you and can, you get that floorboard the reason, sound. The reason you can tell it's an old house is because they've got the old school kitchen rail. That's how I know. I'm excited for this. It looks really nice. Like, I've never seen anything like it. It's like a little pot. A dainty little, a dainty little uh, pot. sauce container. Salad what looks what good sauce too. did you get? Diane sauce. You got me parmy. Got my lager. We are happy campers. We're going to have dinner, guys. And. Uh, Tell you what we think when we're done. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we had dinner. It was I don't dinner. know. I don't know <laughs> what the fuss is about. It was. That was a big step. It wasn't great. It wasn't awful. It was just average. Yeah. Five out of five. But we supported local town, so. Oh look, it's a pub meal. It is what it is. But when you lead, when you read the reviews on Wiki Camps from everyone saying that the uh, pub meal was amazing, not amazing, <laughs> just an average pub meal. Just a standard pub meal. All right, good night, guys. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We have to figure out how much we're going to pay for our stay here. What an interesting experience that's going to be. <laughs> okay, guys, we've just come down to the little park area that they have here in Cullen. They've got a wicked little ninja park. The kids are over playing in that. <laughs> A skate park over here. I'm teaching Owen to ride a skateboard. It's He's a over. Beautiful precinct here that they've done up. It's absolutely amazing. But the time has come <laughs> uh -oh. to talk about what we think is a fair price to pay for a caravan park stay. This was a was the reason why we came here to Cullum was to experience this unique feature little uh, that little that feature have. that they have. Yep. We've never come across it in all our time travelling. We also saw it as an opportunity to save a little bit on um, accommodation accommodation costs <laughs> as well. So, after a bit of a heated discussion, what have we decided? Drum roll. So we decided that $10 per adult and $5 per child was fair, so we've paid $30 a night to stay on a patch of dirt with power lead and shower and toilet. And we think that's pretty fair. That's paying within our means, and that's giving us a chance to put some money back into the community as well. So we were able to go to the swimming pool, we were able to have a pub dinner, go visit the local IG pay for some groceries. Now obviously $30 is on the lower side of what you'll pay for a caravan park stay these days. Yeah. Which is why we avoid caravan parks like a plague. 
we do feel like caravan parks are getting just too expensive. 40, 50, 40 dollars is probably fair enough. 50, 60, 70 dollars like some of them are charging for a patch of dirt and a shower. It's, it's honestly getting a bit ridiculous. And sometimes it's unpowered is that price as well because sometimes there's literally nowhere else to go or there's a heat wave or there's weather issues that you've got to deal with. So Yeah, sometimes you don't have a choice. You have to go to a caravan park and that really hurts our budget. But we're sitting here feeling a little bit guilty, feeling a little bit like we might be judged because <laughs> of the amount of money that we paid for our stay here. But in saying that, we went and we spoke to the council lady. We paid that. They were very happy, friendly. There was yeah. no ill feelings no. or anything like that. So there you go, guys. That's what this, that's what they end of this experience. That, yeah. That's the Come outcome. Come to Colin, check it out. It's pretty cool. All right, with that, we might wrap up this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you on the next adventure, guys. Bye. What's the matter, my dear? I can hate this crap. Fucking <laughs> hell. <gasps> Thanks for watching right to the very end. You've really helped us out with the old YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to watch another, YouTube thinks you might like this one here. Just click the thumbnail, the arrow is pointing at it.